Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Jimmy Lutz again from Downtown Dental, and today I brought my daughter Jane with me. Uh, the reason I bought, brought Jane is because we're gonna be visiting some sweet shops, and Jane not only has a sweet tooth, she has sweet teeth. So she's excited to go along with me today. Good afternoon, I'm here with Denise Bootsma of McCord's Candies and we are uh, getting to know our neighbors here on Main Street and wanted to ask Denise a few questions about McCord's. Thanks Denise. Yeah, thanks Denise. Um, are, I never knew that, Denise, that um, McCord's served lunch, so uh, one of the questions I had was what would be one of your favorite things on the lunch menu? Uh, well, we have really good pony dogs as our bread. We some New England bread that just is outstanding. But we make a lot of our food that's from the same recipes as that were made in 1912. Uh, we have ham salad and egg salad and chicken salads that are very, very popular. Matter of fact, I just made them yesterday morning, and we were so busy yesterday, all of that was gone. Yeah. So I came in early this morning to do a lot of our baking, and we make all of our sodas for our syrups, for our syrups for our sodas. Yeah. And, so yeah, we have lots of healthy food. Good. Yeah. Well, if there's something interesting about you or McCord's, what would you uh, tell us something interesting about yourself and McCord's? Well, about the store, what's so interesting about that is it's been a staple since 1912. So 108 years it's been here. And when we bought McCord candies just over three years ago, we were told that by the health inspector that it's a good thing we bought it and we better clean it up or she was going to close it. So my main reason for wanting the boards was to save it and give it back to the community because people still come in and they'll say, I remember when my grandma brought me here when I was a little girl, or we get those stories almost daily. So, yeah, and the interesting thing about me that you may not know is I went to school to work in dentistry. Yeah. I graduated at the top of my class, and, and uh, I never wanted to work in that field, and we came back here, and I so the rest yeah. is history. Mm -hmm. uh, you never know, you may get your chance. I know, right? Yeah. Well, that, that's really helpful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, it's great to be here on Main Street. We look forward to uh, crossing paths. So thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. We're here at Something Blue Bakery with the owner, Mackenzie. Thank you for your time today. Um, and we're at 918 Main Street. And we wanted to ask Mackenzie a few questions about uh, her shop. So um, first question would be, what's one of the favorite things that you like to make here at Something Blue Bakery? Um, we do a lot of funny cakes. And I always kind of like to work with customers and, and create what sort of fits with their theme and their look for the day. But uh, I also do love creating kind of sculpted cakes, especially animals, in any way that kind of give them a little personality and, and cuteness. You can see some around the shop, those are some of my favorites. Yeah, gotcha. And what if uh, we were to get to know you a little bit, what's something interesting about yourself? <laughs> Um, my background is in scenic art, um, so I started by painting sets and sculpting props. That's what I went to school for. Um, yeah. I did go to IU, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I am a, a proud Hoosier and wound up in, in Boilermaker uh, country, which is yeah. sort of a, a strange combination, but uh, sure. yes, yeah, so I uh, painted sets, sculpted props, so obviously a little similar to what I do now, just a different, yeah. uh, a different medium, so yeah, I guess that would be something <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, it's obvious that you're very creative and your, your stuff is amazing. Oh, so thanks for letting us come to the shop. Um, one last question we'd ask is, any funny dental stories or something interesting, dental experience that was interesting? Um, so I suppose uh, we kind of talked, I, I have had braces twice. <laughs> so I'm very thankful, I have very uh, straight teeth. Um, it was uh, better the first time when my parents paid for it. Um, <laughs> I had Invisalign as an adult, um, but I guess when I first had them, they overcorrected my teeth a little bit, and it was causing gum recession, so all kinds of issues. Teeth yeah. are weird. That's teeth right. Teeth are weird. They, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they always, uh, I, I feel like I take great care of my teeth, and I still have all kinds of problems, so. Well, <laughs> thanks for sharing part of, part of your story.